What's up guys, it's Mike, and today I've got a small update on the PS Vita homebrew that I've been developing, Space Cadet Pinball. Now, a lot of you requested for the music, and I'm here to say that we successfully have music. Now you may need to come into the menu and enable it, but it is there, it is working. I have not been able to disable the rear touchpad yet, but you'll also see we have a new theme on the UI. And I'll just open this here. Boom. So let's see as part of the part of the overhaul here. Got a nice Win95 style theme. And so if your music's not enabled, definitely come in here and try and, and uh, tick this music checkbox. The menus are still just a little bit janky. You know, I'm trying to adapt. Um, I am GUI for this, of course. Um, and it's frustrating also working with SDL on Vita, which just for some reason recognizes front and back touch pads together combined as one mouse. So yeah, let's go ahead and select a different bank here. Actually, let's let's talk about what's going on here. So there's two different MIDI backends you can choose from. Because we've made the upgrade to SDL Mixer X, we get some better MIDI emulation here. So you can either choose between uh, an OPL3 style synth through LibADL MIDI or an OPN2 style synth through OPN MIDI. Now I've only been playing with ADL MIDI so far because OPN kind of requires that you have the proper files and I haven't really implemented that yet. So ADL is the one I've been mix, uh, messing with. Now ADL has some back end or emulation styles you can choose from here. Uh, I like to leave this on the default where you're going to get the most different sound change is through the OPL banks. And OPL3, well rather Lib ADL MIDI, has over 78 built in. So let's just go ahead and choose this MS Adlib Windows 3X. Um, there we go. Even though the game's paused, the music will still play. That's good to know. So let's try a different one. Try, try Warcraft 2. That doesn't sound too much different. Rise of the Triad. That was really quiet. You guys will have to play with this and uh, figure out what settings you like best, but uh, of course, if you exit, reopen. game will of course remember whatever you've chosen as your specified backend. So yeah, in addition, tilt has been added. So you can use F or you can use uh, L and R D-pad to tilt or down to tilt. And of course I've verified that uh, none of the tilt buttons are actually going to do anything uh, it, when you have the menu open. So with the menu open, the game is to play, but pushing up, down, left, right, that doesn't do anything at all. So, I mean, pretty much everything works. Uh, I had to custom add some SDL functions to actually get the custom font rendering to work, but I am open to suggestions on more custom themes because theming I am GUI is kind of fun and I am GUI is actually really nice to use. So I plan to use it in some future projects. So yeah, this update's gonna be available to download by the time you guys see this video. Uh, it will be Vita Release 2. It'll also be up on Vita DB hopefully, along with whatever the other ones are that mirror Vita homebrews it'll be up on. So yeah, go out and download it. Let me know how you guys like it. And uh, until next time, see ya. Oh, 
one addendum to add. Some users have reported some problems with having uh, DualSense and some other uh, controller related plugins enabled with this game. Um, I would say just definitely try and push the start button on and off and see if you get any kind of input before you disable those plugins because, uh, as, well, SDL works with those plugins through the X-Tech, so theoretically should work here, but uh, yeah, either way. See you guys.